I am launching my poll before we start with the discussion to check whether you have really understood the concepts. So please answer this first.
okay dear friends uh this was a very straight forward question uh, wherein i had asked you uh about the understanding of this second statement of second law of thermodynamics namely the causal statement and looking at the responses it appears that for many students it is not yet clear as to what exactly is the second law statement the form clauses okay i would be discussing this again uh, in order that you clearly understand the concept so what is the question the question is question is according to clausius second law statement we can design a refrigerator with zero work input zero work input okay so now 34% of the students are saying that we can design a system okay we can design a refrigerator with zero work input in fact what clausius is saying is uh if you are able to are you able to see the screen ma'am whether the white board is seen hello white board is seen some of you put the message in the chat and say whether it is seen or not not seen okay let me share this okay now it is seen i hope it is seen now yes okay uh <clears throat> so what the clausius statement says is please understand it very carefully the clausius statement of second law of thermodynamics talks about the pumping of the heat okay the clausius statement of second law of thermodynamics talks about pumping of the heat from lower temperature reservoir to higher temperature reservoir okay so this statement is about the transfer of heat so let us take a reservoir okay which is at some lower temperature and another reservoir which is at a higher temperature okay so what is clausius referring to clausius is referring to a machine okay is referring to a machine which operates on a thermodynamic cycle is referring to a machine which operates on a thermodynamic cycle okay so let us say that this is a machine which operates on a thermodynamic cycle and what he is saying is this machine can pump the heat okay can pump the heat from a lower temperature reservoir to a higher temperature reservoir okay but if it has to pump the heat from a lower temperature reservoir to a higher temperature reservoir then then there has to be certain supply of work positive some work has to be done which has to be greater than zero means we cannot we cannot imagine okay according to clausius according to clausius what is not possible it is not possible it is impossible it is a negative statement as i said both the statements the kelvin bank statement as well as the clausius statement they are negative statements they say that what is not possible so what is not possible according to them is it is not possible it is impossible to construct a device okay it is impossible to construct a device which pumps the heat from a lower temperature reservoir to a higher temperature reservoir without work input so this kind of thing wherein the heat flows spontaneously wherein the heat flows spontaneously uh, sorry uh, this is tl and this is ql let us say this is qh okay and w is equal to 0 w is equal to 0 so this is not possible we cannot have okay this is not possible please note that we cannot have this kind of machine this kind of machine would be a perpetual motion machine of the second kind okay we cannot have this kind of machine 
which pumps the heat from a lower temperature reservoir to a higher temperature reservoir without any work input okay so this is not possible according to clausius statement so what is possible it is possible to pump the heat from a lower temperature reservoir to a higher temperature reservoir with some work input okay so if the work input is zero if the work input is zero then we cannot we cannot construct a machine like this okay we cannot construct a machine like this if the work is zero so there has to be some work supplied okay some work supplied to the machine for pumping the heat for pumping the heat from a lower temperature reservoir to a higher temperature reservoir okay and this machine okay what is this machine called as so this machine could be either it could be either a refrigerator a refrigerator a refrigeration system okay let me rub this uh, choose some other color okay uh, this machine which machine this machine which this machine which pumps the heat from a lower temperature reservoir lower temperature reservoir to a higher temperature reservoir to a higher temperature reservoir with some work input with some work input is either a refrigerator or a heat pump or a heat pump okay please note a refrigeration system not a refrigerator so refrigeration system would include many things refrigeration refrigeration system would include your household refrigerator a refrigeration system would include your window air conditioning system a refrigeration system would include a split ac system a refrigeration system would include a central ac system a central chiller or it would also include a heat pump it would also include a heat pump okay so i want you to understand clearly first what is the difference between these two machines that is a refrigeration machine and a heat pump okay so today's lecture i would be concentrating on this two uh, machines that is one is the refrigerator and other is the heat pump okay and uh, then i would be defining the performance of these machines i had already started with the discussing that performance namely in the form of coefficient of performance coefficient of performance or cop okay so let me now start the discussion of uh, a refrigerator and a heat pump okay so uh, the schematic okay the schematic of a refrigerator and a heat pump appears to be the same that is you would have a higher temperature body that is th and a lower temperature body that is tl and you would show a heat transfer that is ql uh, from tl to the machine and qh from the machine to th to th okay so this schematic would be there and there has to be certain work which is to be supplied the value of that work has to be greater than zero this work has to be supplied to this machine okay so some work input has to be there for this machine so this machine could be uh, this schematic holds good for both the refrigerator and a heat pump okay now what is the difference between these two then okay so let me first erase this so first let us talk about a refrigerator first let us talk about a refrigerator okay and then we will talk about a heat pump and then we will talk about the comparison between the two comparison between the two okay so look at this so the performance okay in the refrigerator what are we interested in in the refrigerator we are interested in this what is this this is is called as the cooling effect why are we purchasing a refrigerator we are interested in cooling okay so this is called as a cooling effect in your layman's language but in the technical language okay we would instead of calling it as cooling effect we would call it as some refrigerating effect okay so please remember this so what is ql ql is cooling effect or refrigerating effect refrigerating effect okay so what is this ql then what is this refrigerating effect refrigerating effect is the heat okay it is nothing but the heat which is being removed heat removed where from the heat is removed the heat is removed 
from the space to be cooled the heat is removed from this space suppose this is the space we are interested in cooling now which is the space which we are interested in cooling in your household refrigerator in a household refrigerator as i had discussed in the yesterday's lecture we are interested in cooling the space which is within the refrigerator which is within the refrigerator so more specifically in the freezer section of the household refrigerator we are interested in cooling that okay in your window air conditioning system or in your split air conditioning system we are interested in removing the heat from the room which is being conditioned from the room which is being conditioned okay so how much heat is being removed that heat which is being removed is equal to ql if you talk about heat or if you are talking about rate of heat then we put a dot over it we put a dot over it okay so ql dot is a rate of heat removed or ql is the heat removed from the space to be cooled okay so in your refrigerating machine in your refrigerator we are interested in ql okay we are interested in ql that is in other words the desired effect the desired effect from a refrigerating system is your refrigerating effect or cooling effect and that is equal to ql as per the schematic which is drawn okay then as i said in the yesterday's lecture the cop coefficient of performance coefficient of performance of a refrigerating system the coefficient of performance of a refrigeration system is equal to the desired output the desired output which i now explained you is ql the desired output which is ql upon the input which is necessary for achieving this desired output and what is the input which is necessary so according to clausius statement we are interested okay in achieving this but this can be achieved only if we supply certain work this desired effect of cooling can be achieved only if we supply certain work so this ql upon work is called as cop coefficient of performance of refrigerating machine okay so i am i am clear i hope about what is the coefficient of performance of refrigerating uh, machine a refrigerating machine performance is given by the term not by efficiency but by cop and the cop is given as ql upon w okay uh, to check whether you are understanding this i will run a poll what is asked is the compressor is consuming 1 kilowatt compressor is consuming 1 kilowatt and uh, the coefficient of performance is unity coefficient of performance is unity okay so i want you to calculate what is the refrigerating effect now it is very simple problem okay i don't feel that it takes hardly a second to solve this okay but in spite of this a uh, few students are getting it wrong few means uh, about 20% of the students 20 to 30% of the students are getting it wrong that could be because you are not attentive okay 
that is what we uh, would conclude okay so the cop of the refrigerator is unity it means that cop value in this expression has to be taken as 1 and the compressor is consuming 1 kilowatt compressor is consuming 1 kilowatt so obviously obviously you are refrigerating effect okay refrigerating effect has to be calculated as a ratio uh, the coefficient of performance is defined as a ratio of refrigerating effect upon the power consumed okay so two things are given and uh, they are very straightforward so the answer is also straightforward okay so we will be researching on why some students are getting this wrong okay and who are those students uh, using our analysis from go to webinar So please be quick in answering your polls. Only 65% have voted. So I'll close the poll. Uh, so the answer is coefficient. If the coefficient of performance of refrigerator is unity, and if uh, the compressor is consuming one kilowatt, it means that COP is given as one, and uh, W is given as one. W is given as one. So what you are asked, you are asked uh, as per the terminology which I am using. I am using the term QL for refrigerating effect. Okay, in my schematic, I am using the term QL for refrigerating effect or cooling effect. So obviously, QL would be COP into W. COP is 1, W is 1. So QL has to be 1 kilojoules per second. 1 kilojoules per second. So the right answer is uh, 1 kilojoules per second, which about 80% of the class has got. Okay, so I will stop this poll and uh, share the result you see that uh, the cop of the refrigerating unit is unity okay and w is given as one so ql has to be obviously one okay so uh, no need of explaining this i guess okay uh, what is given is cop is one so this value is one this was given to be one unity means one ql is to be found out and this was given to be one kilowatt okay so obviously the answer would be one kilowatts or which is nothing but one kilojoules per second one kilowatt is one kilojoules per second okay mm. again uh, using the same concept, using the same concept, let me ask you another question. Let me ask you this question now. So remember what I had told you just now that a split AC split ac is nothing but a refrigerating system split ac split air conditioning system ac means air conditioning system so split air conditioning system is nothing but a refrigerating system whose cop would be again the same expression whose cop would again be the same expression I guess that all of you understood now around most of you are getting the answer right. So this is now pretty obvious and those who are getting it wrong, they should think of why they are getting this wrong.
So I'm closing the pool, assuming that uh, you understood this. Okay. So the correct answer is uh, 3.5 kilowatts. Okay. What was given is the cooling effect, the refrigerating effect was 3.5 kilowatt. The refrigerating effect was 3.5 kilowatt. The coefficient of performance was, was unity, and you were required to find W. Okay. So just as a matter of a second, 3.5 upon 1. The answer would be 3.5 kilowatt, which around 90% of the class has got it right. Okay, those who are not getting it right, it is because you are not at all attentive. Okay, nothing else. So let me move on to the next concept that is of heat pump. Okay. So again, now uh, I'll keep the schematic as the same. Schematic to be the same. What I am discussing is a heat pump. Okay. So let me rub this. Now, what would change is in the heat pump. Heat pump, uh, where these heat pumps are used, these heat pumps are not used in India. Okay. Uh, they are not used in tropical climate. They are used in uh, colder climates. Like for example, in Europe, you would find that uh, heat pumps are used. Okay, so let me redraw this. Uh, this is QL, this is QL, and this is QH. Now the schematic is same. That is, both, both in your refrigerator and a heat pump, both in your refrigerator and a heat pump. You are pumping the heat from a lower temperature reservoir to a higher temperature reservoir. Okay, in both the cases. Now, what happens here is here we are not interested in this. Okay, we are not interested in cooling the space. In your heat pump, we are not interested in cooling the space. What are we interested in? We are interested in heating the space. Okay, so this is the place which we are interested in we are when we are talking about a heat pump so space to be heated space to be heated okay so in the heat pump in the heat pump our interest in the heat pump our interest is the heating effect the heating effect and not the cooling effect so we are not interested when I'm using a heat pump. I am interested in heating effect and not in the cooling effect. So please note. So let me rub this. So I'm not interested in this refrigerating effect. In fact, there is no refrigerating effect when we are talking about a heat pump. So when I'm talking about a heat pump, please note my desired outcome. The desired effect of a heat pump is to heat some room. Okay, so imagine that in a Europe, in a European hotel, you are staying in some European hotel, and this is the room, okay, where you are staying. So what is done is that you are having the same kind of equipment, that is the components which we discussed of the refrigeration system, and here in this space, in this space, this is a room, let us say. So this space, you are rejecting the heat QH by taking the heat from the surroundings. So what happens in the case of heat pump is, this is some surroundings or the ambient. Obviously, when you are talking about colder climates, when you are talking about colder climates, so the surroundings would be at a lower temperature, right? When you are talking about colder climates, then even if you go to North India, for example, your outside temperature would be obviously low. Okay, so lower temperature. And because the outside temperature is low, because the outside temperature is low, so we are interested, we are interested in keeping the room, keeping the room of that hotel or whatever, okay, of the classroom, hot, okay, uh, relatively hot. So for keeping it hot, what we do is that we employ a machine called as a heat pump. So we employ a machine called as a heat pump. Okay. So this machine now is not a refrigerator. This is the heat pump. 
so this heat pump this heat pump what it will do this heat pump would take what it would take the heat from a lower temperature lower temperature means what this heat pump will take the heat from a lower temperature that is the atmosphere that is the surrounding which is at a lower temperature and it will pump this heat it will pump this heat into the room where we are staying okay where we are interested in keeping this room hot so this heat would be pumped from a lower temperature to a higher temperature just as in the case of refrigerator we are also in the refrigerator also we are pumping the heat from a lower temperature to a higher temperature but in the heat pump we are not interested in cooling the surroundings we cannot cool the surroundings right because by it is it would behave as a sink so this sink even if you are taking the heat out of it its temperature would not be lower okay this is the surrounding and then that heat where it goes that's this heat is pumped to the room so that the occupants of this room would feel comfortable okay they would be heated up right and for doing this for doing this we need to supply certain work because according to clausius statement we cannot do this without supplying work please note according to the clausius statement we cannot do this without supplying certain work now how do you assess the performance of this heat pump so the performance of the heat pump we is note performance of the heat pump is given by the cop cop of the heat pump hp i will use hp for heat pump or whatever you want to use is equal to the desired effect the desired effect please note the desired effect is the heating effect so what is the heating effect the heating effect is not ql now the heating effect is not ql now the heating effect is qh so qh is the heating effect and for achieving this heating effect according to clausius we need to supply certain work okay so we need to supply certain work for achieving this heating effect and that ratio that ratio comes as cop the coefficient of heat pump then is the ratio of the heating effect to the work input to the machine work input to the machine i hope uh, you are clear on this heat pump and refrigerator difference and in order to check this whether you are clear on the difference between the heat pump and refrigerator let me ask you a simple question Now what I see is that some 70% of the class have understood this concept. Okay, there are still 30% of them struggling to understand this. Okay, so I'll just repeat what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, and uh, please note that both the heat pump and a refrigerator, please note, heat pump and refrigerator, they pump the heat from lower temperature to higher temperature both of them pump the heat from lower temperature to higher temperature it is not that one is pumping it from high temperature to low temperature and other is pumping it from low temp high temperature to other so both 
are transferring the heat from a lower temperature body to a higher temperature body okay now if i want to explain you okay what what exactly is happening in your refrigerator in your refrigerator please note that the heat is being pumped from the freezer okay your household refrigerator for example the heat is being pumped from freezer and what is the temperature in the freezer it is around minus 4 degree centigrade so the heat is being pumped from the freezer which is at minus 4 degree centigrade to the surrounding which is at 25 degree centigrade which is at 25 degree centigrade okay so the heat is pumped from a lower temperature to higher temperature in refrigerator what happens in the heat pump again as i said if you are talking about a colder climate colder regions let us say that in the colder climate the outside temperature is 10 degree centigrade and you want to keep the maintain the room at 25 degree centigrade so for maintaining the room at 25 degree centigrade when the outside temperature is 10 degree centigrade we need to pump the heat we need to pump the heat from the outside which is at 10 degree centigrade to the inside which is at 25 degree centigrade so again in the heat pump we need to pump the heat from lower temperature to higher temperature so please note both in the heat pump as well as in the refrigerator we are pumping the heat from a lower temperature to higher temperature lower temperature to higher temperature then what is the difference the difference is in the refrigerator we are interested in the cooling effect in the heat pump we are interested in heating the room we are interested in heating the room okay heating effect in your refrigerator we are interested in cooling the room or cooling the space to be uh, to where you are for example preserving the foods okay uh, you know that in your cold storages we preserve the food okay so that that space has to be maintained at a temperature which is lower or if you are preserving ice creams then we need to maintain that section okay where you are keeping that ice creams at a temperature which is much lower than the outside temperature okay at minus temperatures so this has to be clearly understood that the difference is not that one is pumping from high temperature to low temperature and other is pumping from low temperature to high temperature the difference is the desired effect or the outcome or the output is different in the refrigerator the output is the cooling effect in the heat pump the output is the heating effect okay so let me close this poll uh, 70 percent of the students have answered it correctly uh, the answer is true okay the answer is true so let me ask you another question based on the heat pump uh, this is to be calculated so the question is the heat pump has a coefficient of performance of 1.2 the heat pump has a coefficient of performance of 1.2 the heating effect is 1.2 kilojoules per second you need to calculate the power consumed by the compressor power consumed by the compressor okay such a simple question and obviously i'm expecting you to answer correctly such a simple question heat pump has a coefficient of performance of 1.2 the heating effect is 1.2 kilojoules per second how much would be the consumption of the compressor how much would the compressor consume Now, 
Uh, be fast in voting. Only 65% of the students have voted. What are others doing? What are others doing? Accounting for all the poor connectivity issues. Okay, we need to finish up the polls within three minutes. So please answer quickly. So what was asked was the power consumed, okay? And as I told you that coefficient of performance of a heat pump uh, is the ratio of the heating effect to the power consumed. Coefficient of performance of the heat pump is the ratio of heating effect to the power consumed. Now, when you are given the heating effect as 1.2 and the COP is 1.2, obviously the power consumed would be QH upon COP. QH upon COP, okay? So let me close this poll uh, with 70% of the students answering it correctly. The answer is, let me share this answer. Close and share. So the answer which is seen in front of you, uh, the correct answer is one kilowatt and 73% of them of you have got it right, okay. So the remaining students, only 80% of you have voted. So the 20% who are not voted, and the 27% uh, who have quoted it incorrectly have not understood this concept. Okay, so let me hide this now and once again, just in a quick manner, tell you the answer. Okay, so what is the answer? The answer is uh, W was how much? Uh, what is asked? Sorry. Ah, uh, W was asked, right? So this is QH. So QH is 1.2 kilojoules per second. This would be one unity, that is one. So obviously this would be 1.2 kilojoules Oh, sorry, this is one. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is 1.2. COP is 1.2. COP is 1.2. So obviously, this has to be one. This is the answer one kilojoules, kilojoules per second, which is nothing but one kilowatts. One kilowatt. So this is the answer. This is the answer. Please note the answer. This is the answer. Okay. So be very clear that when you are talking about coefficient of performance of the heat pump, it is the ratio of the heating effect to the power consumed. Heating effect to the power consumed. Now, this is a bit tricky question which I am going to put uh, to you. Okay, but before that, uh, let me ask you a very simple expression, a uh, simple question, and then I will ask you a tricky question. Okay, so just a simple question first, and uh, hopefully, everybody should get this right and uh, listen to the uh, read the answers carefully okay read the answer carefully pretty straightforward question pretty straightforward question and with this question, after this question, I'm going to put a very tricky question, uh, which would in a way test your concepts, okay? Uh, I plan to confuse you a bit uh, with my question, okay? The final question would be a bit tricky, uh, where I would want you to reflect upon that. I hope for not to students who are more serious about the studies they might get the answer correct
so uh, why others are not answering it is it because of some connectivity issue uh, only 70% have voted please be quick in putting your responses see all your responses are being recorded in the go to webinar app and we will have to use this app when we the responses how many of you are responding how many of you are not uh, responding how many of you are responding correctly all this data we have okay that would be helpful for us in your assessment so please be serious while you answer the questions please be attentive when we are uh, trying to explore you, um, the concepts i understand that there could be some connectivity issues but for straightforward questions i am expecting you to answer very fast okay and correctly and 80% of the students have voted what has happened to the remaining 20% we need to find out okay uh, but uh, let us uh, let me close the uh, poll now and uh, let me uh, uh, let me give the answer okay um, 81% have voted okay i will give some few seconds before i close it let me check how many minutes we require Okay, I'm closing it. Uh, uh, as you see, uh, the results. The answer is the coefficient of performance of heat pump is nothing but the ratio of heating effect to the work input. 84% uh, of the students have got it right. Okay, so it is the ratio of heating effect to the work input. It, it cannot be the ratio of heating effect to the cooling effect or cooling effect to the work input. Some students have answered it as cooling effect to the work input. So cooling effect to the work input is the expression for COP of a refrigerator. For a heat pump, the expression is heating effect to the work input. Now let me put a very interesting question. And uh, I am now not sure how many of you would be able to answer it. This is a bit tricky question. Uh, am I audible now? Okay. So the question is according to Clausius, the COP is always coefficient of performance is always less than unity. Okay. So this, I'm sure, I was sure that. You won't be able to answer it correctly. See, please note that Clausius statement, what it is. What it is saying is that the work input, okay, the work input cannot be zero. Clausius statement is saying that work input cannot be zero. It means that in your expression for coefficient of performance, in your expression for coefficient of performance, it is the desired effect upon work input desired effect upon work input so if the work input is not equal to zero then depending upon the value of desired effect the cop value can be anything cop value can be anything so it is not that uh, cop could not be less than one or greater than one cop could be greater than one cop could be less than one okay uh, 
um, i'll just close this poll um, and uh, i'll try to i'll try to explain this if it is not clear in this lecture i would explain it again in the next lecture okay so uh, what i am trying to say is that the coefficient of performance okay coefficient of performance sorry okay uh, what i'm trying to say is that the coefficient of performance of the machine of the machine refrigerating machine or a, a heat pump is the desired effect desired effect or desired outcome upon the work input work input now what has the clausius to do with this so what is clausius simply saying clausius simply is saying that this value cannot be zero this value cannot be zero so what is CO, uh, what he is saying is that cop cannot be infinity cop cannot be if this is cannot be zero that means cop cannot be infinity okay then what should be the value of cop so the value of cop would depend upon what is this desired effect and to achieve this desired effect how much work has to be supplied now if you take the practical values of cop okay so the the practical values of cop for different machines you will find that generally in your uh, you will always find that if you are talking about uh, uh, window air conditioners you will find that the values are closer to 3 or even it, it could go to 3 to 4 okay for your air conditioning system and for your refrigerating systems refrigerating systems this values could be closer to unity closer to unity okay and there are other refrigeration systems uh, where which we won't want to do, uh, won't be discussing but uh, for, even for those uh, you'll find that the values range for from the values range from 0.7 to 1.4 okay these systems are called as vapor absorption systems okay we are not going interested in that so what i'm trying to say is that uh, the cop value the cop value could be greater than 1 okay i am trying to emphasize that emphasizes the cop value could be one it could be greater than one now does that mean does that mean that the efficiency is greater than 100 percent and it is violating the second law no because because we are not talking about efficiency please note we are not talking about efficiency we have studied in from the second law that efficiency cannot be greater than 100 percent efficiency cannot be greater than 100 percent but are we talking about efficiency here no are we talking about uh, conversions no what are we talking about we are talking about coefficient of performance coefficient of performance is not a conversion it is not talking about how much ql you are getting how much w are getting converted to qh okay we are talking about how much is the heat which is pumped either from the space to be cooled or from the space to be heated okay so for example if you are talking about refrigerator Oh, sorry uh, if you are talking about a uh, heat pump this could be qh upon w okay so this qh from your energy balance you see that qh is qh is ql plus w ql plus w and straight forward you'll understand that this qh uh, qh is ql plus w and because this would be greater than zero so obviously this would be greater than one this would be greater than one so coefficient of performance being greater than one doesn't mean that energy is being produced okay it is not that energy is being produced out of nothing or we are converting more amount of it is also not that we are converting this heat work to heat we are not converting work to heat what are we doing we are using the work input to pump the heat please note we are using this work input to pump the heat and hence because you are using the work to pump the heat this value could be greater than one in fact because the values are many times greater than one that is the reason we won't express it in terms of percentage otherwise that would create a confusion and we would say that array this value you are getting uh, this conversion uh, this performance you are getting as 200 percent 300 percent and you know that it cannot be greater than 100 percent that way so in order to avoid that that kind of confusion we are using a separate term which is not equivalent to efficiency it is not a conversion efficiency it is a performance evaluation of a refrigerator or a heat pump 
and that value could be greater than one it has nothing to do with the clausius statement okay so clausius is not telling that cop cannot be greater than one in fact the experience is that in most of the refrigeration machine okay including the heat pumps also we would find the cop value is generally greater than one okay so the answer is uh, false uh, but the false is uh, you know, even if you answered it false you might have answered it false without knowing this concept okay so the concept is what the key concept is coefficient of performance is not the conversion efficiency and hence its value could be greater than one okay we are not talking about converting work to heat as we talk in case of efficiency because in case of efficiency we are talking about converting the uh, heat to work okay here we are not talking about converting work to heat or like this we are talking about pumping the heat from a lower temperature to higher temperature with this uh, i take your leave uh, thanks for joining thank you very much